My job is essentially to find the moose and then put it into a spot where our, our gunner can uh, shoot it with a dart. So uh, basically you have to kind of act kind of like a border collie. You kind of get around it and you kind of work it side by side and, and you, you try to push it to a little opening and then once it comes to that opening you swoop down and uh, you know if everything works right and the gunner makes a good shot he can uh, shoot a dart into it which will tranquilize the moose. Uh, that takes anywhere from three to seven minutes generally for it uh, to fall asleep. Sets so down there nicely. At that point I could go back, pick up the biologist, uh, vet and uh, bring all the crew in and then they can begin taking all types of samples. They, they do all kinds of sampling. They take hair samples, fecal samples, measurements, vitals, uh, and of course probably the most important part that they're doing right now is putting a collar, which is a GPS tracking collar on their neck and that follows them everywhere they go. All of these captures weigh very heavily on us um, because of course we want to do more good than harm. Our goal is um, Definitely to understand what's going on with the population. Um, we don't um, work for the individual level moose. And so, um, but, you know, it doesn't change the fact that, yeah, we want to see every moose get up and run away from us and be successful for the next year. My goal would be start to make some management changes, continue doing to the research to see how effective those changes were because the collaring data will provide us evidence of whether or not what we're doing is working. It allows us to be essentially accountable for what we're, what we're trying to manage. It's unfortunate that the, that the state has stopped doing the more active moose collaring research because I think a broader moose research community is better for the population in the long run. We're, we're using some similar methods, but not identical. We're testing different hypotheses. But when we're all working together on this with university systems, with the state, with the tribes, you have a number of different entities uh, accruing information that can be used to better manage the moose population. And in the absence of those, it just makes less knowledge available, and it really limits the ability to do a good job with this.